Okay, so this is an adventure after picking up the three attachments. Now, one of the cardinal rules is to do one at a time. Just to prevent locking in, uh, if you have different angulation of implants, uh, the abutment, sometimes you can lock these in and there's it becomes very difficult to remove the, the denture. Uh, the patient has had many prior experiences with dentures, so we elected to do it one shot, uh, pick up all three at the same time, but again, locking in the denture can be a significant issue. So you can see here sort of the, the depth of where that implant now rests and how that affects the aesthetics. So you can actually see some show through. Now is this a major aesthetic um, problem? No, it's a mandibular denture in this patient and you don't see it. But if this is a consideration, if you're doing these uh, in the maxilla or any other patient that with age as the lip smile line slowly uh, goes inferior. So one of the tips that uh, Dr. Dre also, as, as I was watching him remove the flash, was just using like a number six round lab burr instead of using one of those large football burrs and uh, just using a round burr to get uh, remove the flash from around here and then you can additionally the Teflon really worked. I've tried wax before uh, but it just didn't the wax was really difficult. So we use this little tool there's actually a little hook to remove these inserts and we'll just pull that out of there and then we're going to start with the blue nylon insert. You can see it here. And we'll just place that into the denture now there just like that and we typically start them off with a blue which is the light it's 1.5 pounds and they increase up to 5 pounds so I hope that helps cheers